Hello and welcome to your week ahead reading. I hope you had a great weekend. All right, let's go ahead and see what your angels and guides would like to say about the week ahead. We're at a forks road. Two of Wands is really weighing up the pros and cons about going back or forward or going this way or that way. Okay, we may be considering going back to the past or moving towards the future. Okay, but we've got our walls up or we're met by walls. Okay, we're met by blocks. We're thinking, I really want to go this way. But it's like the universe is not supporting me. It's like there's a block every single way. Maybe with a Gemini or maybe with a love. Someone that you've chosen to be your forever amazing person. Okay, sometimes with the two of wands or a choice card, the lovers could be actually a decision in love okay choosing between one and another all right so let's go ahead and clarify these and see what your guides would like to say if your guides and angels come through now we have the page of swords is an epiphany somebody tells you something and then you know it's like okay thanks now i know everything that is someone who's like an informant coming in saying look this and that and this and that about this and then you're like okay now I know exactly what I need to do it could be about a marriage someone comes in hey did you know this person's married okay or someone comes in and says oh by the way I'm actually married could be for some of you and it's an epiphany but it could also mean this person's famous this person's really well known they're like instagram famous or this person's amazing they're very highly celebrated in their job they're like everybody loves them you know an epiphany with six of wands because six of wands is the energy of somebody who is very celebrated very rewarded people love this person it could be you okay you know they could be saying by the way did you know that people really love you seven of swords Ooh, okay so somebody says somebody is really well known about seven of swords okay okay so somebody is really well known um for seven of swords and seven of swords is the energy of there's a few different meanings it really depends on the the other cards okay but seven of swords is the energy of somebody uh who is either lying or like a compulsive liar they're always doing it someone who it gets away with stuff it's like i'm gonna do this and nobody's gonna find out Somebody tells you someone's really well known in Seven of Swords. Okay, Seven of Swords also, they're very sneaky. All right, that it's a sneaky card. Also, at the, the I guess the best, best meaning for Seven of Swords is that they do whatever it takes in order to get by. Okay, it's like, I'm going to do what it, I'm going to go get food vouchers, I'm going to, you know, work three or four jobs in order to pay my rent or, you know, in order to pay my bills or my debts. Um, someone is, someone tells you this person is really well known in doing whatever it takes to get by. I mean, maybe they're a survivor. They've got to do it. So, you know, it could be something like that as well. So take it as it resonates. Now, you may be blocked or you may be... Um, blocked by the universe the universe is saying no to this wish come true okay it's like um, for some of you behind closed doors okay you're in this protective protective um, vibe with this person doesn't have to be the the night the um, nine of wands is literally about a wall a block okay a guard protecting oneself because we've been through so much 
protecting oneself but gosh this person's amazing it's a nine of cups it's like they're literally my wish come true but i'm still guarded because i just found this out the page of swords told me that this person is well known and that's why i'm at a fork throat i don't know which way to go all right so the lovers it's like a choice in love or someone that you really really want to be with alternatively uh it could be a gemini so it's a really okay with the ten of uh, somebody's guides just saying that um you really 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 want this person with the ten of wands it's really hard to go without them it's like ten of wands is like all the frustration all the desire all the energy that you want to put into this connection you just can't okay um fool you act a bit you you feel silly because it doesn't make sense how you feel about this person could be vice versa and your higher self is telling you to temper <laughs> to 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 be a bit under the radar about them okay you feel a bit silly like it's a huge risk with this person i know but they wish them i wish come true and i really desire them like i desire them so much you know with the ten of wands and the fool i feel you feel a bit sheepish around this person it's like how do i even act i forget who i am when this person's around me it's like the chemistry is so strong i feel this magnetic pull and your higher self is telling them or your best friend because um, high priestess is sometimes someone that advises you tells you stuff that knows all your secrets so with temperance it's really telling you that this person or your spirit guides your higher self is telling you all right let's just take it easy let's take it slow one day at a time because we really need to figure out which way we're going to go with this direction with this person that we really 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 want wow did you just see that that just like it, it was so beautiful too like a rainbow all right so child this new person or a fresh new beginning family room um for some of you it's like it could literally be a new relationship a new intimate relationship where you just can't help yourself and they can't help themselves either but it could also be a new family member somebody had a, a baby maybe or adopted a child it's really interesting i'm going to look into that tell me more about this we have meeting all right this is an intimate meeting where you just it just this person makes you weak and guess what because the lovers it's both ways so you both feel the same about each other and your higher self is saying put the brakes on okay because you don't want to go too quickly into this make sure that you know what you're doing because this person you know somebody tells you something and you're at a fork throat so i'm going to get the lenormand which i haven't done for the other signs tell me about this what should we do the sun maybe a leo the sun is victory success triumph a lot of heat chemistry okay so this is like magnetic pull towards each other it's like undeniable the sun is heat it's about you know that chemistry that oh, the fire okay because the sun is so so warm so hot okay so that's how you feel about each other okay <laughs> let me know how this resonates what this means to you this is just something that lets you know that your guides have your back your guides are with you and i mean they were telling me these stories so they're definitely with you taking care of you and their guidance is just take it easy take it slowly with this person you don't want to rush into anything without making conscious choices along the way all right well i hope you have a wonderful week ahead and stay tuned for your daily energy update coming up next bye for now